So let's keep it moving. We have a lot to look through today. What the hell? Oh my God. Welcome home, Red Pack. Marcus here and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. And also the creator of this channel happened to appear in the actual Muscle Beach episode and competed in the Anchor Toss. Welcome to the Goo Lagoon 8th Annual Anchor Toss Competition. First up, Daisy the Dog. Yes! But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Next up, Don the Whale. Camera flip. Yes! It's about to get a whole lot brighter right pack because your boy is here. And today is going to be an amazing video because, you know, if we're on this channel, I am a huge, huge, huge SpongeBob fan. But I am also a fan of Don the Whale right here on screen. If you guys don't know, this is the background character, Don the Whale. We actually got a package sent in from my man, Don the Whale. And he actually anchor tossed this package all the way over here. Let's get an instant replay on that one. This package though was sent by our man Donald7551 on whatnot. He's an awesome supporter over there, not just that, as I call him Don the Whale. I already took a little sneak peek inside this package, we had to reseal it up. I accidentally, I didn't accidentally open it up, but it just looked really heavy and I was interested, so I kind of opened it up a little bit. Which I rarely ever do for fan mail. Yeah, yeah, right, I mean. You listen here, Mitchell, okay? I rarely do that. If I just pan down two feet to your left, it might say otherwise. Try it. Harugan! They just saw a reality where I was saying on to you, but you're really doing this. Stop that! Okay, sometimes I open them up, and if you guys don't know already, I'm gonna be trying to do fan mail in a little bit different fashion. This stuff right here is Don and also his fiance Taylor, were beyond generous and awesome contributors to the collection today. I already saw some stuff in here that you guys are not going to believe. I only saw the first little layer, the the crust of the package, the crust of the pie, where <laughs> you haven't even got to the ooey gooey nice. Why, why are you gonna be so Ooh. weird? What? You're just being so weird today. Like, can we not like describe it as that? I don't know what's wrong. I just think I'm hungry. Just okay. <laughs> normal for five seconds. <laughs> okay, five seconds. I just saw the service level of it. Okay, but you guys do not understand how awesome this package is gonna be. So thank you again to Don and Taylor for sending all this stuff over. And make sure you guys show them some support in the comments down below. We have a letter in here we're gonna read as well. But I also got the filing cabinet done in a brand new video if you guys haven't seen it. Which we got that filing cabinet already done, but not just that in preparation for Don and some of the other fan mail we're gonna be doing. So we can add that stuff in there and preserve it, protect it. And not just that, if you guys are new here, label everything with Don and Taylor's name on it. So we can add it into the collection and immortalize them here in the cartoon cavern. That's how you know it's from Don. See that? My protein, vitamins. Don's gotta supplement them killer, well, muscles. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop this guy open. Start with our letter here. You guys can already see the <laughs> And Ryan didn't have to even blur that much because they, they put it in bubble wrap. Shout out to their uh, packaging. The bubble butt wrap. Not only do her on the outside, it's my butt Okay, so this one came from Don and Taylor again. So shout out to you guys and thank you again so much. They said they've been watching the videos for a few years now and I am so forever grateful for that. To all of you guys that have watched for even a week, thank you so much. But so many of you guys have watched for literally years and there's literally nothing I can do to repay you besides continuing on with releasing content for you guys and, and just saying thank you again. But let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna grab our first item out. There's no numeric order to this, but we're gonna add so much stuff today. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna grab the first item out of here that got my attention and that is these guys right here. These are baseballs, but not just any baseballs. This is a Nick Alone. Odeon baseball. Yay. That purple and orange is a combination I didn't know I needed in my life, but now I'm in love with. And look at that, 1992. So this thing is an absolute classic. If you guys that have been watching this channel for a while know that if you get something with a Nickelodeon logo on it itself, it is so hard. If you look at our background here, you can only find a handful of items that really just say Nickelodeon themselves without it being associated with some kind of show. So this guy right here, I don't even know where it came from, but as soon as I saw this ball at the top of the package, I knew that I had to save it for its own special video. So Don Taylor, thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. We are gonna be labeling this guy up and adding it to the collection, but that is not the only baseball that they sent today. Let's check this out. This is a Franklin original SpongeBob Dang. baseball. Like, no matter which side of the ball it comes at you, you have some awesome. To if this was flying at me in a game. I'd be terrified. <laughs> I, yeah, I would be like Choji, dude. I would not be able to hit it. I would feel so bad. I'd 
just wouldn't be able to hit it because I love this punch so much. But if you look at it, somebody else was willing to wail on my guy. <laughs> so these guys right here are perfect. I love them so much. These both are going to be added to the collection today, especially this guy. It is going to be getting a nice premium space so you guys can see it. Anywhere we can get that awesome, beautiful, nostalgic Nickelodeon logo. But what I love about this one is you don't really see purple and orange. You usually see the green and orange. So I love a combination that you don't really usually often see. It just keeps getting better, man. I swear to you, I have been looking for this for over three years. And that is the oh, SpongeBob. Dang. Dude, look at that logo. That logo is like everything. That logo is everything to me. But this guy right here is so clean, dude. Like there's a little wear right here, but there's not that much wear on the face, which is typically what you would see with these SpongeBob balls is because you'd be able to win these actually at a lot of fairs. So what is the first thing you do when you're at a basketball at a fair when you're a kid? You're gonna bounce it. <laughs> that. You're gonna bounce it. And Ryan, show us the, the typical flooring for a fair. What do you usually see? Asphalt. <laughs> black asphalt. So most of these balls, it's covered in like a black tar. Almost like you pulled him out of a tar pit. But dude, this thing is perfect. Like, let's just take a look at the bottom here. You have SpongeBob's actual pants down here. You have the, the actual shirt line here. And then it goes all the way around to give you a full scale SpongeBob. So man, like just these right here already made my freaking month just because like I know how hard these would have been for me to add to the collection. So thank you so much. I wish I could somehow protect the ball. Maybe we can get one of those little cases. Oh, get it signed by Tom Kenny and get it in one of those little cases, dude. That would be so cool. It's got a lot of ideas, but for right now, we're just going to make sure we put it in the collection. All right, so the next up here, we have the SpongeBob Easter basket, which is so, so adorable. You have SpongeBob as the Easter bunny right here. And then on the side right here, you have SpongeBob painting an actual Easter egg. But these type of things always come in clutch in the collection. You'll see these bins and stuff like that all over the room. When you're creating a collection like this, you need to have storage spaces. And when I can make them spongified, thanks to people like you, that is always the best way to move anything around. Well, what's inside? It has like a cool little design. Yeah, I don't want to see. You don't want to see. You want to see. You want to see. Mitchell. Oh, 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 no, man, you are not going to believe what I'm about to pull out right oh, now. Oh, boy. My mind is fluttering with ideas right now of where we could put this. This is what? a SpongeBob shelf. Oh, my God. I always wanted one of these as a kid. Oh, what? I, oh my God. That is beautiful. Like that is flawless, dude. Mitchell, will zoom in right here on the one we have up there. That is the one that I had growing up. But honestly, this was the one I wanted growing up. <laughs> this one is so freaking cool for any type of display dude like it's like a premium shelf or something i know you can either put it on the side of the shelf here or you can just put like it up on the shelf too and then not just that put something on top of it like any of the really grail pieces dude like that looks so good yeah that, that adds so much i am in love with this don and taylor you guys are so freaking sweet and you guys in the comments make sure you guys show them some love because this is going to be such an awesome piece here in the background thank you guys so much okay next up we have dude a nickelodeon slime like i don't know what this is like a, Looks like a travel bag maybe or like a know. makeup bag maybe Kay. it's so cool though so you have the black and white which kind of gives me cartoon dude and then well, we have car cartoon network. this cartoon network so i was like why does this give me cartoon network vibes maybe because the cartoon network we're just right next to it. <laughs> but we have the slime coming down here too. I already love this, but let's check out and see what we have inside here. Okay, so I got this out. I don't even know what this is, it looks but like I- like old school crayon box. I think you might be right. I used to have something similar. I don't know if it's a crown box, but it's interesting. It definitely looks like something that could have been a crown box. It says this box belongs to, and you can write their name there. But we have our man Jerry on there. We have Dick Dastardly. We have all these Hanna-Barbera characters here. Just this in itself I want to display. And if you look really closely, you can see one of those old school Walgreens labels on there too. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So it looks like, what do we got here? We have, yeah, we have the professor from Powerpuff Girls. We have some stuffing here we have oh that is so cool so this is emily from the corpse bride and it's not technically disney actually i always forget that i always think that this is technically like some kind of canon link with nightmare before christmas but either way it's going in our variety room thank you 
you guys so much on that. We have Shaggy with the burger! We have Shaggy, but we don't got Shaggy with the burger. Yeah, and you guys have asked for a while now for us to do a Scooby-Doo eating in real life, and I couldn't be more down for that. But that is amazing. We got Shaggy right there, and oh my lord, this is the Walmart promotional pins that they give out to employees. I featured the SpongeBob the movie one along with some other ones in the past, but these ones right here are the Rugrats the movie ones. This one has Phil and Lil, but I've never seen the one for the wild thornberry, so I am so excited for this one. That one just blew my mind. Thank you guys so much, and we will be adding this to the pin board today, along with this guy right here. So, like I said, we're gonna be seeing so much stuff get added, but not just that. We have a heifer pin right here. We're gonna add that, and we have a mystery pin here. Let's see what we got in there. It is Lillian, so we'll be adding this to the board too, and we'll be adding this to the board. We got flopping on the deck SpongeBob, and then dude, can't miss this one. Ooh, Kim Possible. Like, I never even thought about him, Kim having buttons, but back in the 90s, early 2000s, they used to turn Walmart employees to walking billboards. Yeah, <laughs> they still do. Yeah, they still gotta do, but you know, even more so back then. But this guy is going into the Disney collection. Like, Kim Possible was one of my favorite shows on Disney Channel. So that one is a huge impact for me, so thank you so much for that. And the entire box in itself is just gonna be displayed. Like, that is so freaking cute. It is just adorable, all the different angles, and definitely gives me those boomerang vibes slash Hanna Barbera early product vibe. And the case itself, of course, we are gonna be using this in here. I can already think of a million different things we can use this for. But this guy right here was actually a cosmetic kit bag. So I was so curious where this bag came from. I love the fact that it has displayability and not just that Nick branding. He almost matched it too today. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's why I gotta dye my hair green so I can have the slime <laughs> coming down. So it doesn't stop there. Next up, we have some plushies here. We have the Itsy Bitsy Hallmark Sponge Bob and he is melting my heart right in front of you. Like actually, it's actually coming out. I, I gotta go pee. This is unbelievable right here. The SpongeBob Itsy Bitsy. And then not just that. Oh the my god. Of, what? These so freaking cute. I want these guys to protect my heart. They're so adorable. I've never had these in the collection before, so these are so cool. And they're from Hallmark too. These are amazing. So let's keep it going. We have some more plushies in here. We have this crazy. I've never seen this one either. A hula SpongeBob. But it actually do feel that. That's an actual lay. I mean, my dude oh, just wow. graduated high school. That's the last time I seen a lay. <laughs> yeah. That is so cool. Undoubtedly, this one is super rare because I have never seen it. When I've never seen it, I mean... That equals rare. <laughs> yeah, literally at this point, if I haven't seen it, that equals rare. <laughs> so, that is an amazing piece right here. And I almost want to add this in the Disney room with my Lilo and Stitch collection. <laughs> but this guy's got to have an awesome space somewhere here with the plushies because that lay is so special. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, no, they... I will cherish this always because it's fan mail and I have no choice. This is a joke on the channel because one video I got all these Jerry's from one bag clip set and I cursed Jerry and I told him like Neville he would rue the day. But either way this guy is adorable so thank you so much Taylor and also Don. That is a good one. Oh dude and there's more to the shelf. What is that one? This one is a coat hook. Oh my god and the tie. The tie is the coat hook. How much better could they have made it? The actual tie is the coat hook. I mean, let's just be honest. I'm probably never going to hook anything to that, but it actually looks pretty sturdy. So thank you guys so much. That could definitely replace our lanyard holder, which is currently a nail in the wall. So <laughs> this was way better. All right. So next up, we have a SpongeBob necklace that is so adorable too, because oh my God, there's a Gary on it. There is a Gary on it along with the pineapple, the hearts and a little Krabby Patty. It just keeps getting better along with the SpongeBob text, right? Or no, it's a phone charm. This is so cool. I almost want to use it, but another part of me wants to keep it in the collection. How about we use it, but we clip it to something in here? Okay. I think we should hook it onto something inside here. I think that would be a really, really good idea. So that way we can use it, but at the same time I can collect it because I can't just keep it on this thing. This is too cool not to hang somewhere. Okay, the next up, I have no clue. What is this? Whoa, dude. What the heck? Do you see that? I don't know what this is from. That is like one of the coolest toys I've ever seen. Scene. You guys know sometimes I get a little fascinated in the mechanics of toys. So when it opens up, it basically creates like 
like this fence like effect where when you walk by a fence you know you can kind of see yeah. through somehow so this is from the nick old zone which i am not really sure what show this is referring to but the coolness in this is not actually it being visible but the way that it actually disappears when you lose the speed on the rotation it just fades away <laughs> that is actually kind of eerie kind of creepy but also awesome so that guys just for the mechanics of how this works is gonna go somewhere cool thank you so much the next up here we have some like it looks like they're like you know those candy like fans oh yeah i kind of forgot these existed because we always talk about fin tops which kind of use like a basic level animatronics to move but this one is one of those fan clocks and yes it still works wow it's, it's perry's actual engine fan right there that is so cool and it is still sealed so it is still has got the candy inside of it too perry the platypus okay so we have that one right there and then i think this one actually is a spin pop yes this is a spin pop and this is bubbles floating up into townsville it doesn't have the spin pop itself but that is so cool and it actually has two functions you can actually see her ponytails are moving as well too so it's a double function on that one as well so thank you both so much for both of these guys. Oh, but it looks like there's another one right here. Oh, it's another Phineas. Phineas. Okay. So it's a Phineas one right here. That, that, okay, that angle of him is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna get that nice sharp nose to the eye socket? <laughs> that is so cool right there though, Phineas and also Perry. Okay, so right here, it looks like we have a nice stack of VHSs. Ooh. Let's check out that. Scooby? Yes, yes, and if you guys don't know, Scooby-Doo is one of Mitchell's favorite shows out there as well. So. He always likes seeing the Scooby Doo stuff that we get in here. So right here we have the Scooby Doo Winter Wonder Dog. It looks like this is kind of a compilation of multiple different snow style episodes on one VHS. Cause back in the day, you know, they didn't have streaming like we have now. So if you wanted to watch like, you know, kind of a snowy vibe, you'd buy this VHS you had in your collection for when that time of day arrived. The next up we have the creepiest capers right here, which has the amazing Dracula's castle right there in the middle, which we actually built on this channel. Unbelievable to have this. We gotta put this on display with the actual mansion itself. That would be way too cool. We're gonna do that for sure. Imagine if we got scared as humans. That's what our hair actually did. Oh, your hair doesn't do that? Well, maybe I don't have enough, but no. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh my lord. This... Ooh, hey Arnold? No, dude, not just Hey Arnold. It was it's not Hey Arnold? No, it is Hey Arnold. This is a rare copy of Hey Arnold's Christmas. It is a very, very hard copy to find. I didn't think we'd ever find it. Because whenever they're in the wild, people always pick them up, whether they're Nickelodeon collectors or not, just because they resell them. So I thought we would never find one of these. So awesome awesome piece we have hey arnold's christmas which i honestly want to say besides the spongebob christmas special is my favorite nickelodeon christmas special i've mentioned it here on the channel many a times before so this is an amazing piece to add so thank you guys so much i can't wait to label this guy with your guys name and oh the orange vhs copy as well that is beautiful thank you guys so much and then we have good night little bear and i have no clue because we keep getting so many little bear ones at this point i have no clue which ones we have and don't have until we look at them together but not just that i have no clue how many little bear vhs there are i have to find like a total list because i feel like we have to be close at this point we have so many little bear vhs's these are all amazing but i gotta say these two right here are the standouts for me growing up i had i think it was the dvd with this cover on it but i just realized you know like we said we built this castle so it makes it so much more special to me that we have this one in the collection and then we have the christmas carol one which like i said it's just a cool piece. I never thought we'd be able to add here in the collection. So thank you guys so dang much. I can't say enough. As with all these fan mail videos, all you're going to see me saying the entire video is just thank you. Oh, yes, dude. Ooh, what is that? Look at the artwork on this guy. This dang. is the Flaming Pineapple, or as I like to call it, 2005, 2007, West Coast Chopper era. SpongeBob went total rap thing and he was in biker culture because in Southern California, where SpongeBob is produced, the West Coast Chopper series was everything at that time. And Ed Hardy, all of that type of aesthetic was big and in your face for about a five year period. And this came out during that time. We had a bunch of SpongeBob products that came out with the same aesthetic and SpongeBob in a motorcycle fashion. Like it's so sick. Like you have SpongeBob right down here on the top. Look at the notes themselves. I've been so enamored by the 
artwork I haven't had a chance to mention. These are like post-it notes. It's like it's such a sick aesthetic. Like if you look at this compared to anything in this room. So different, yeah. It's so different. Like it's a block of notes, but yet it stands out amongst everything in here because that era was just so aggressive. Like Patrick's pants design went from sick. flowers to skulls. I just can't get over the entire artwork of this thing. This guy has just gotta be on display for that aesthetic alone. And it's definitely gonna be something we added the upgrade. So thank you guys so much. That guy is so cool. Okay, so this was one of the pieces I knew we had to get our document folders ready for. And I never even knew this existed. You guys know, I love collecting Nickelodeon cereal. We have quite a lot of them up there inside of my home. I have cereals outside of even Nickelodeon when it comes to Pokemon, Scooby-Doo, Disney. But I never knew that there was a Rocket what? Power Life cereal. That's crazy. I've never yeah. seen that. <laughs> and Life was one of my favorite cereals, dude. Because it was the only cereal that my mom didn't restrict how much I ate for some reason. But I would eat so much of this cereal because I could. And if you check out the back here, we actually have Reggie, Otto, Sam, and Twister here on the back swimming. They have these cords, you know, a whole different game you can play with them. This is Rocket Power Bustin' Big Air Surf Camp Sweepstakes. So this is a Rocket Power Sweepstakes. When a trip to Hawaii, dude, like these sweepstakes when you were a kid, when you don't have any money, you have nothing going on in your life, that's everything. You're like, I could do this little thing and I, as an 11 year old boy, could take my family to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, that's like Timmy Turner stuff. Like that's a Cosmo and Wanda wish level. Thank you so much. This is definitely gonna be something we double layer and make sure we keep together because like I said, I've seen a lot of boxes of cereal in my, life, my day. I have not seen this box very often come up, if at all. So definitely gotta make sure you protect it. And then we have the Itsy Bitsies for Tommy and Chucky and they actually came with a little blister too. So those guys are adorable as well. I did not know there was this many of the Itsy Bitsies. I knew these SpongeBob ones existed, but I did not know there was Itsy Bitsies for Rugrats too. So Ryan will pop them on screen if there's any other Itsy Bitsies or if we have the complete set. Either way, I love them. So thank you so much for those guys. And then next up here, it looks like we have a Marvin the Martian Fig Pin. And then we have a Daffy Duck Ooh. one as well. Two of my favorite characters as well. So these guys are definitely going to be going inside the cartoon variety room. And the back covers on them are awesome as well. We still got a big stack of stuff in here. So let's keep it moving. We have a lot to look through today. Oh, what is that? Oh, my Lord. What the hell? Oh my God. These are the original what? SpongeBob graham crackers, dude. 2009. And look, we have the graham cracker SpongeBob, the graham cracker Patrick, and the graham cracker Squidward. And oh my God, it's the one time he's not doing the thing. <laughs> but this is animal crackers. Until this bag, we have right here before you only representation of these graham crackers that we have were these guys right here. And it is a much, much smaller box. This is the smaller version that you would put in like your lunch box or something like that. It even has a little handle here that is so cute. So this is all we have, but now we have the full size Keebler's bag of SpongeBob Animal Crackers. I don't know what is my affinity with eating the characters that I love so dearly, but I love it. And on the back here it says, can you find where Plankton hid all the stolen Krabby Patty Patties. See if you can find all 10. So Mitchell's gonna get a shot of it and you guys let me know if you guys can find all 10 of the Krabby Patties. This is a clutch piece we are gonna be adding to the Galay Grub and I am gonna be fully overhauling this entire Galay Grub. We are gonna be adding so many SpongeBob food products to the Galay Grub this year. I can't wait. This is definitely gonna be one of the key pieces that we have displayed there. That is one of my favorite pieces in this room and I continue to grow on it. And thank you so much for sending this awesome animal crackers for that. All right, now we have a big stack of stuff down here and it looks like these are books along with magazines. So let's oh. check it out. Ooh, a lot of awesomeness here, man. Nick Zones? Yes, we have some Nick Zones. Oh my Lord. We have the SpongeBob movie Nick Zone. Ryan. <laughs> This is the king of Nick Zone books. Absolutely the king of Nick Zone books. You have the SpongeBob with the mustaches on the back here now that they're men. I cannot wait to read these. Some of these SpongeBob movie books are my favorite books to read. Reason being is that that is my favorite film of all 
time. And the books, if you watch my book video where I kind of like cleaned the books and expanded on some of them, they do dive into some of the scenes of the SpongeBob movie more than you would in the actual movie. So I can't wait to read this book and see what it takes out and what it adds. That's what I live for. So thank you so much. That is so damn sweet and so awesome. Then we have the Danny Phantom one. Dude, Jimmy Neutron books. We have the first episode ever when pants attack. We have Tommy's new pajamas. What? We have bottoms what? up uh -huh. and oh my lord, a lenticularly designed Nickelodeon notebook. And they must have got it at some point for a dollar ninety nine. This is actually a Nickelodeon employee book that they would give out to employees. So this would have been something they just had and they could donate it. So it's not something that was a licensed product that anybody could just pick up. Got a Nickelodeon pin in it as well. What an amazing find. And not just that, an amazing piece here. And I gotta say, this filed notebook kind of gives me like a handy dandy notebook vibes for sure. And then we have a Backyardigans book right here. So we have Uniqua right here and it's actually her inside. I think this is Pablo's backyard. I don't know. They're always in Pablo's backyard for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> they were, we're, we're his Backyardigans, <laughs> not our Backyardigans. But we have Uniqua here and you peel her body off and you leave her face and then it shows you all of Uniqua's more projected face ad adventures. It just continues to go and those holes become new things. Okay, Pablo's just sneaking around everywhere. <laughs> Pablo, I'm starting to think your last name might be Escobar. <laughs> the way you're sneaking around here. And then over here, it goes all the way down. It's just a very, very unique way to incorporate those little holes and kind of keep you interested besides just the fact of reading when you're a kid. But now we have this guy right here. Let's check this one out and see what we got here. Ooh, okay. So we have the adventures. So this is Disney equivalent of the Nickelodeon magazine. And these were, as I said, just a little book for kids with games, news and the topics that kids love, but of course, mostly pertaining to Disney. So we have the Toy Story 2 one right there, which is incredible. Well, actually it's not incredible. It's Toy Story 2. And then we have the Scooby-Doo from DC Ooh. comic book, the Looney Tunes comic book. Oh, that one's sick. And then the Jimmy, no oh, we got the, back to the camera, Mitchell. We got the Hakiba Wiser one. He was known for the finger wag. Smacking down the block. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't want to get that finger wagged at you. The Hakeem Elijah Wan Nickelodeon magazine cover. And dude, we just made a whole section for the Nickelodeon magazine, did we not? Yeah, and they're gonna be crispy in there. Yeah, so this is gonna be awesome. And then boom, we have the Keenan and Kel Good Burger cover. Take a bite, new Nick movie, Keenan and Kel in Good Burger. Now this was in life was at the best for the world. We had freaking these juicy, Juicy red sauce, cow with the ring, juicy burgers. JTT is going wild. Life is at its peak. This book was three dollars, nineteen ninety seven. Man, unbelievable piece here. So thank you guys so much for everything we have here today. We are going to be labeling all this stuff with your guys' name. Thank you guys so much for sending this over. I am so glad the videos were able to make an impact in your day, and this video has definitely made an impact in so many others. So thank you guys so much. I can only say I'm million times so thank you 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 many many minutes later thank you so much but if you guys are interested in sending anything on fan mail the address is on screen we're definitely working through it so it's on screen right there thank you guys so much but you guys know the drill we gotta label all this stuff before that scan it <laughs> Okay, so now everything here on the table has been labeled. You guys saw the scan, now it's kind of organized. We have labels like this on certain items in order to keep the stickiness off them. And then other items like this one, this comes up super easily. And we have some labels behind the awesome shelves and also code hooks that they sent. And on all the VHSs, you guys know how we do it. We have it on the head. We have it on the post-it note covers. We have it on pretty much everything here, minus some of these small things being as usual. The things like the pins like this, where there's not really a lot of room to do anything with, but we're gonna be putting them on the pin board, of course. Okay, so for the itsy bitsies, I am gonna add them to the bookshelf. I feel like they were designed to kind of sit on bookshelves. I think they are perfect. You guys will see this direction is still being worked on, but we're gonna have a lot of display room that way very, very soon too. But there's so much more room this direction. So for right now, we gotta keep it to this area. So I hope you guys don't mind. These are never going anywhere. They're gonna be in the collection always. So I hope you don't mind that I'm gonna take it actually off the blister here. So we're gonna take the itsy bitsies out and add them to the shelf as well. So right here, 
we have the Nick Zone books out and we are gonna be adding three new ones to the collection. We, we have 13 books in the collection now. We are trying to collect all 24. We have 13, now 14, 15, and 16 books in the Nick Zone collection. We are getting so close to having the entire 24 issue set of the Nick Zone. I have gotten so many extras and duplicates for these in the past. If you guys don't know, what I'm planning on doing with a lot of the extra DVDs, books, and some of the stuff that we have, I want to do some kind of charity type live streams for some of the doubles that we have and donate all of the money to some kind of beach cleanup or ocean cleanup. Since I do love the ocean so much and SpongeBob is a huge part of this channel, I want to do something awesome with the doubles. But this case, we didn't get any doubles, but I did have this one on the way because I found it somewhere online. So I'll be adding that one to the charity and then this one into the collection. So we can add all of these guys in right here. That is a perfect spot. We still have some more room here for our like premium style books because these are all notebooks and stuff, but we have so much storage now, we might as well put stuff like that in there. Okay, so then now for these books, since they're already labeled and they're actually pretty textured clean, I don't have to do a lot of cleaning on them. Thank you guys so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys right in here. So all I do as of right now, literally look at the height. And I'm like, okay, well it kind of fits in right here with all these soft books. So that's where it's gonna go. Because right now we're still getting so many books and there's no way to organize it precisely except for SpongeBob and not SpongeBob. All right, adding Jimmy in, adding Tommy's new playmate in, adding the backyardigans, and our notebook will be going into the stationary cabinet. All right, so we added Chucky, or slick back of Chucky right here. And we also <laughs> have Mr. No Hair Tommy. And slick his back too. <laughs> Tommy right there. I love it. I love these itsy bitsies on top of the bookshelf. They just look so cute there. Okay, so I added the Nickelodeon baseball right here next to our Nickelodeon bowling pins. I just think it's the perfect spot. And then right below, we have our Nick Jr. Family Magazine gumball machine. So this guy right here though, these two Balls are gonna be going into the upgrade bins for right now because I know I want to put this guy somewhere up here somewhere in a really good spot where you can see that logo but for right now we got to put it in the upgrade so we can make the best space for it all right for right now the Hawaiian sponge is gonna be going on top of our door cover and that is because we used to have a door there and stuff but you guys are seeing things are starting to change around here on this side of the room it's gonna be very very soon you're gonna see some more stuff like this different style of stuff on this side of the room but for right now that's where he's going okay you guys know me I like to keep everything so this bag comes in clutch because in this Nickelodeon bag I've been using it to keep all of the pin backboards for all the pins that we have in the back of the room so anytime you see us get a pin here on the channel I always add the backboard inside here so I already put all the pin boards that we got from this video inside of here but now I can actually add this particular bag into our documents now and I'm gonna add all this into this bag so now, like I said, I can add this bag to our documents and we have way more room for all of these different cards and stuff like that from the pins. So we can keep collecting those and we can see which ones we have through it. And that'll be going inside of our stationary bin over here along with all the cards from the different play sets that we've collected so far. And along with that for right now, this will be going with our stationary stuff as well. But I really think this needs to get an awesome display piece somewhere in here, even if it's just that side profile of SpongeBob. So for right now though, it'll go right in here. Okay, so we just ran out of all of these different type of folder things. So I ordered some more. They'll be here in probably about a week. But we have all of these guys in here. These are all the different documents we've been collecting here on the channel. You guys can see all different style of stuff that we've picked up over this time. This guy right here barely fit inside of here. That is the Auto Rocket Life Serial. We'll be adding this into our documents as well. Along with this guy right here for right now until we get a protector for this one as well. And we have some Nickelodeon magazines to add to our Nickelodeon magazine bin, which is right below that one. Okay, and this one has a few Nickelodeon magazines that we weren't able to get in the covers quite yet So that's gonna be added to that list But that's three new numbers for our Nickelodeon magazine collection that hopefully one day we can finish off Okay, so for the Rugrats pin I went ahead and added it right up here the Rugrats movie I know there's other variations of this art So I'm gonna have to find those and put those in here too But we also have the Wild Thornberry's movie one right here above the Spongebob movie one Which was released March 1st and this one was released April 1st and this one was released March 30th. So it seems to have like a general area that Nickelodeon like to release their movies. But we have these three now. So Mitchell, I'm going to go ahead and let you put this one on the L. So go ahead and put that on anywhere you want. There is no wrong answers, no wrong place to put it. Just smack it on there. Put it over by Reptar so that way it's... Oh, I was hoping you didn't put it there. No, there. that's also wrong. Is there a fill somewhere? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you can put it anywhere. There's no wrong answer. I was just messing with you. Okay, I wasn't messing about that not being there. <laughs> That's <laughs> perfect. Right there. So we have the Lillian pin right here. Now for Heifer, I say we just go random. We just plop them on there. Boom. Just like that. And then also for the flopping on the deck SpongeBob, I do kind of want to have this one kind of in a spot. So <laughs> this one next to Squidward. <laughs> and for our phone charm, I went ahead and added it right here on our flat sandwich Nick Zone lunchbox. Okay, so this guy I'm going to be using for around the room, just carrying different things around it for storage. And then for these, of course, we are going to be saving these for the upgrades here in the room as well, because they're going to have a very, very special spot here for sure. So I want to make sure we get that space available for them. So those are going over there for now, along with our animal crackers, which I have to make room for on the Glade Grub back here. Okay, so as you guys know, back here is my entire Scooby-Doo media collection. We have a bunch of DVDs, different sets, different movies, stuff like that. But the creepiest capers we're going to be adding up there with the mansion. Dude, look at the colors. It works so well. Yeah, the purple and purple and the <laughs> green. It is beautiful. So we're going to add that up there. And then the winter dogs do not have this in the VHS collection up here. So I'm going to add it right up here with our other Scooby-Doo VHSs. We do have some other VHSs in the back right here as well too. But very, very soon this closet in the room here is going to be turning into a complete storage for all types of media when it comes to the variety room. So it's going to have its own dedicated closet, which is actually going to be more space for media than even the Nickelodeon room has. But this is dedicated to all cartoons. So we're talking things like Puss in Boots. We're talking things like the Princess and the Frog Wii game. We're talking about Cartoon Network PS2. There is a lot of stuff when it comes to cartoons in general. So we're going to need a whole closet for that. And that's going to cover all the media, books, all that type of stuff. And for the Daffy and the Marvin the Martian fig pins, I added them here in this huge Warner Brothers shelf. So those guys look sick right there. I think I might eventually get more fig pins and add them along the side here. And for the Hanna-Barbera box, it may seem a little random now, but as we get more stuff to stack up here and I want to get some Scooby-Doo artwork to go back here, this will eventually get moved probably somewhere over here. But for right now, it works right there. Okay, guys, and the Disney shelf, as you guys can see, we need some bigger stuff to go in the back, whether we use some artwork, something like that, because that looks blank as heck. But we have all the pops over here. I had our fans right here next to our Phineas and Ferb's Pez dispenser. This is kind of like our XD section. We even added the star here recently. And for Kim Possible, I think we should add him right here next to our man. So there we have everything for the Disney shelf that we added so far. All right, guys, that is actually for this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to bell notifications on so you guys do not miss this next video that's coming up soon. You guys are not going to want to miss out on it. And not just that, if you're not already, go follow me on the whatnot where you get $15 off your first purchase. But I'll see you guys right over here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are going to love it. So I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rat Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.